another video this one is like the first of its kind but today i'm gonna be doing a cooking tutorial so lately like the past year almost i've been trying to transition to like a fully vegan diet so i'll still do fish every now and then but i don't do any other meats and no dairy because of quarantine and we have all this time and stuff i've been trying to like figure out you know new exciting recipes that's good have my taste tester. Yeah. <laughs> this one, we actually, should I talk about going to a restaurant? So I actually went to a restaurant, shout out to Life Bistro. Mm -hmm. uh, they were really, they were, y'all, if you're in Atlanta and you like food, you don't even have to be a vegan. If you like food, you should go to Life Bistro. They had this amazing like Alfredo, vegan Alfredo pasta in I swear, like, as soon as I took a bite of it, I was like, oh, we gotta go back tomorrow. So I found this recipe on Food Network and I could just kind of tweaked it a little bit. So we didn't use everything, but we used some things. Um, it just like made it work. This is definitely trial and error, but I was so proud of it. I gotta show y'all. Moonier ate like three bowls and I had like two myself. So here we go. Okay, so first, um, your ingredients. You're gonna need some um, vegan cream cheese. So I got BioLife. Um, I heard about this. I usually do Daya, um, Daya, Daya, but I actually heard somebody talk about this today online. I was reading an article and she talks about how like she found this vegan cheese in Europe and it was like the best one she had. We have this pepper mix. We have garlic. We have a little bit of parsley, um, a lemon. We have olive oil, nutritional yeast, natural sea salt, Italian seasonings, almond flour, black pepper, rice milk. Cool. Okay, so starting off with three cloves of garlic, we're gonna cut these up. Okay, on the stove, I'm gonna heat, start the stove, I'm gonna put it on like medium heat, and I'm going to put my olive oil. Just enough to coat the pan, I'm gonna warm that up. basically gonna let the garlic brown until like it's super soft. I'm gonna let it cook in its oil. And we're gonna start on the um, Alfredo base. Yeah, okay, so now we're gonna do our Alfredo base. Um, preferably, if you have like, if you have a blender, you can put this all in the blender. Um, but we're not gonna use the blender. I just feel like it's better when you mix it by itself. So we're gonna do some rice milk. About half of this cream cheese. So about half this cream cheese. Boom. We're going to do about three tablespoons of nutritional yeast. No, no. Oh, yeah. that's how much it has to be. <laughs> okay. I feel like it's a lot of milk. <laughs> Use some almond flour. So the almond flour is really important because it's what's ultimately is gonna make it like thick. It's gonna thicken it up. I'm black. We don't use measuring cups like that. So I'm just gonna put in like that much. Food tastes better when you don't measure it. So don't measure. What? <laughs> so my pan. I'm gonna put some of my peppers in here. Yep, yep, yep. I like peppers, so we're gonna do a peppers. We're gonna do a lot of peppers. Also, guys, by the way, you should have already cooked your noodles. <laughs> oh, before we did this, because I made a practice batch before, so I had noodles left over for this batch. 
So make sure that you're cooking your noodles. Just boil your water. Um, you wanna put some olive oil, olive oil, and salt. And bring in a boil. Put your fettuccine noodles in. They have different brands that have veggie brand and all this other stuff. So we want our noodles to be cooked because we're gonna mix them in there later. All right, on my peppers, I'm just gonna do a pinch of Italian seasoning, maybe two pinches. Excuse me, sir. Some garlic and onion powder. So I'm gonna basically just season my vegetables. So here we go, garlic. Yes. Here we go, onion. We're just gonna brown this, okay? So now back to the Alfredo sauce. What we're gonna do is a pinch of Italian seasoning in the sauce. Honestly, let me be honest, this is what makes it taste like how it's supposed to taste. Have enough, da 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 da. Cool, we're gonna do some onion powder. Da 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 Okay, and some garlic powder. Next, some black pepper, okay? I hope I'm doing good on this, y'all. Let me know in the comments if you wanna see more vegan recipes. Da 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 da. Okay, now our sauce is good. Take your spoon, stir your sauce up, stir your sauce up. Yep, stir it up. I'm trying to break up these cream cheese chunks. Like I said, trial and error, guys. This is gonna be a whole bunch of taste testing and all that stuff. Nice. Okay. So now our vegetables are brown and beautiful and they smell so good. And so next, we're going to take our Alfredo and we're going to drop it in here. Yep. Yep. Oh, also, instead we used rice milk, but we subbed it for almond milk because my is allergic. Use almond milk, preferably. All right, so you're gonna wanna turn your heat up for this. And because we want it to get to a boiling simmer, we're gonna want it to get to a simmer, all right? And we're gonna let that sit. Yum. So if this is what you're looking like right now. This is perfect. So it's bubbling up, it's bubbling up. This is all good. And okay. So now our mixture is coming to a good little boil. If you want it a little thicker to add thickness, always add flour. So if you want it a little bit more thicker, add some almond flour, but just know as it cools down, it is definitely gonna thicken. So now I'm gonna add my noodles. Don't judge us, our noodles are a little cold. They've been sitting here. So we're gonna add our noodles. I'm just gonna toss them around in the sauce y'all look at how amazing this looks already y'all you know what i'm saying like this don't even look vegan it don't even look vegan does it and we like our stuff super saucy over here so <laughs> and i'm just gonna let it sit i'm gonna let it sit um y'all i'm telling you you're gonna be like, what in the world? <laughs> there you have it, folks. Vegan fettuccine Alfredo. I'm gonna show y'all my plating though. All right. So, final touches. Look at our beautiful plating. We have this beautiful white plate right here. You're gonna take a lemon. I'm gonna squeeze a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, we used this lemon earlier. You gonna squeeze. <laughs> Squeeze a little bit of lemon juice. <laughs> yep, get a new lemon. Yep, just a little bit, you don't need a lot. And we're gonna take this parsley and we're gonna break it up with our hands. And we're over the top like that. Yes, and then we're gonna put some right there just for a little, little plating. And that is my vegan alfredo i hope y'all enjoy it if you try it please let me know what it turned out like remember y'all taste and test taste and test if y'all like this video i'll come and do more vegan recipes that i've learned i got a quinoa fried rice that's really banging um 
So yeah, thank you for tuning in. Like, subscribe, and comment on this video. And yeah. <laughs> That's so pretty, but you gotta get it up top. We gotta take a picture like Tune in for